When Luke and Nora's dad walked into Ollie's room with Merlin the wizard, they found something they never expected to see. Earlier that day, Luke and Nora had found a mysterious magical wand in the woods that they brought inside their house, where it accidentally fell on the floor and turned their dog Ollie into a human boy. Now, this by itself was amazing, but what they didn't know was that the magic wouldn't stop after this transformation. It was going to continue, and things were going to get even crazier as the night went on. When they walked into Ollie's room after he had fallen asleep, they expected to see a boy lying in his bed, but instead, they saw a great big bear snoring loudly and knocking the lamp right off the nightstand and breaking the bed frame as he tossed and turned in his sleep. Merlin took one look and said, Oh, dear. Goodness gracious me. My, my, my. Uh, uh, uh. Whatever are we going to do? How could this ever happen? Oh, me, oh, my. What? Dad said. Can't you just tell me what's going on? Pardon me, sir. Sometimes I get lost in my thoughts. One problem with my magical wand is that it doesn't simply turn an animal into a boy. If the correct spell is not spoken at the cast of the wand, the magic will continue turning the boy into something bigger, stronger, and scarier until the magic is stopped. And Dad said, well, stop it then. Can you stop it? The only way it can be stopped is... And before Merlin could finish his sentence, Ollie the bear woke up and looked at them standing in the doorway. He kicked off his covers and ran out of the room. And as Ollie bear ran down the hall, Luke and Nora got out of bed and ran to their doors to watch him tearing down the hallway. Luke said, wait up, Ollie, where are you going? But Ollie didn't stop or respond. He just ran down that hallway and down the stairs and out into the front yard. And by this time, the whole family was up and chasing after Ollie. And when they all got outside, Ollie started to transform again. This time, two wings started growing out of Ollie's back and his fur started turning into scales. And in a matter of seconds, Ollie the bear turned into Ollie the dragon. What just happened? What was going to happen next? Luke and Nora ran after Ollie and jumped on his back. And just as they grabbed hold of him, he started flapping his wings and he rose off the ground and started flying high into the air. Ollie flew higher and higher until Luke and Nora looked over the edge of Ollie's back and they were so far off the ground they could hardly even see their mom and dad and Merlin the wizard down on the ground. After flying around and screaming their heads off for what seemed like forever, all of a sudden, they heard a noise coming from behind them. It was a helicopter, and it was pulling up right next to Ollie the dragon as he flew through the clouds. And they looked over at the helicopter and saw that it was the police. And they saw somebody sitting in the back seat of the helicopter that they recognized. It was their mom! What in the world? Mom was with the police in the helicopter flying right next to them. How did she get up there? Their mom picked up the microphone in the helicopter and said, Ollie! Ollie! Do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to go out, Ollie? And when Ollie the dragon heard this, he turned his head and started panting with his tongue hanging out of his mouth and he started to wag his tail back and forth. And then mom said it again. Come on, Ollie! You want to go out? You want to go for a walk? And she didn't have to ask again. When Ollie heard that, he pointed his nose right down and flew all the way back down to the front yard of their house. And the police helicopter followed him right down. And when they finally landed together, 
Mom jumped out of the helicopter and ran up to Ollie and the kids. She helped both the kids off of Ollie's back, and she went right up to Ollie's face and gave him a great big kiss on the lips. And just like that, something started to happen. They started to hear sounds and noises like magic spells whirling around and around. And all of a sudden, in a great big puff of smoke, just like that, Ollie turned back into a dog, just the way he was supposed to be. And then they heard Merlin the wizard walk up behind them and he said, You see, my friends, true love's kiss is the only thing that can break the spell. And that's exactly what just happened. And then Luke and Nora and Mom and Dad and Ollie and the wizard all held hands. Well, they actually had to hold Ollie's tail. And they danced around and around in a circle and celebrated. And by this time, it was really late at night. And they said to Merlin, thanks a lot for your help, Merlin. We're really sorry about this mishap with the magical wand. And he said, all right, my friends, I'd best be heading off to bed. I am quite tired this evening. Have a good night. I'll see you all again first thing in the morning. Oh, you mean you're coming back to our house tomorrow? He said, oh, yes, of course. I forgot to mention there's more work that needs to be done unless you want your mother to be transformed too. He said, what? You mean mom is under the magical spell too? He said, ah, yes. True love's kiss may have turned the dragon back into a dog. But now the spell must be broken for your mother as well. And if it's not, then what? Oh, we don't want to go there, my friends. You don't even want to know what will happen to your mother if we do not break the spell. <laughs> but that's a story for another day. 